everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and add buttons to your website. So what you're going to want to do is log into your agent panel and go under website and click on page manager. Once you're in page manager, you need to determine where do you want to add this button, what page. So where it says select a page to edit, go to the page you want to add the buttons to. So in this example, I'm going to add it to my first time buyers page. Once the page loads, you're able to add the buttons. You have two types of buttons that you can add. There is a general button and an icon button. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So in this example, I'm going to add a new section by clicking the add content button. I'm going to make the section split into thirds by clicking this button right here. So as you can see, I have three areas where I can add any content I want. So in this example, I'm going to add buttons. So where we have all the content widgets, you'll notice you have two options here. You have regular button or button, as well as icons. So these are the two types of button styles I want to show you. So let's start off with the general button. So we're going to drag that right into this box. Right here, you have the button creator. At the bottom, it'll show you what your button looks like. So right here, I'm going to change the text. So let's say I make this button say, click here to view condos, for example, then I'm told to link the button. Do I want this button to link to a web page or URL? Or do I want to link it to a file? So you can actually drag and drop or upload any file so that when somebody clicks on this button, it opens the file. This could be a floor plan. This could be a newsletter. It's completely up to you. Generally speaking, people link buttons to web pages. So in this example, I want to link it to a page that is on my website already. So I want this button to link to my property search page. I could choose to have it open in a new window or same window. Alternatively, if you want this button to link outside of your website, you can click this button right here and link the button to an external URL, a website that is outside of yours. Now, once I've made my decision, I'm going to edit the width as I please. I can edit the height as I please. And I can also, if I uncheck this, take control of other elements such as the font size and the colors. So I'm just going to make a couple changes here. And look, very easy, I press add. Now my button has been created. So this is a general button. Next, I'm going to show you an icon button. So right here we have the icon option. I'm going to drag and drop that into the box. And I'm going to show you how this one works. So an icon button is very similar to a general button. The only difference is you get to add an icon. So we have different styles of icons you could select from. Right here, you have different packages. So let's start with the style three. Let us say that I want to use this icon, which has a picture of a magnifying glass in a house. And now let's start creating the button. So I'm going to give a heading. So in this heading, I'm going to say property search. I could choose the heading color and the alignment. Then we have the text. I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to say click here. And again, you can edit the color and the alignment. Next, we can link this icon button. Now, unlike the general button, the icon button can only be linked to a web page. You cannot link it to a file. So in this example, I can link it to a page on my website, as I've mentioned before, or an external URL. Again, I want to keep things in my website, so I'm going to link this button to the property search page. And of course, if I go to settings, you have additional options here, such as the size of the icon. If I uncheck this box, I can take control of the icon color, the mouse over color, and other details. So in this example, I'm just going to change the mouse over color, and I'm going to add an outline that is black with one pixel, and I'm going to press add. There we go. Look at that. Very easily, our icon button is made. Let's look at these things in action. So if I click on the check mark here, it will save my changes. And now, when I hit the preview button, if we look at the page, both the buttons I've created are here. They both are exactly how I set them up. And when I click on either of them, so if I click on this one, you'll notice it loads the property search page, just the way I set it up. And in the other example, where it says click here to view condos, when I click on it, it also loads the property page exactly as I've set up. Now, what if you want to make a change to one of these buttons? No problem. In the page manager, you can always open up a section by hitting the pencil icon. And right here, you have a pencil 
or edit icon for both buttons. So I can open up the icon button, click the edit, and change. So maybe I just want to change the logo or the icon, and maybe I want to change the text to say MLS search. And I will press update. And just like that, the button has been updated. You could do the same thing with the general button. Maybe for the general button, I want to change the font. So in this example, I'm going to change it to a cursive font, and I will use lowercase here. And if I press update, you'll notice the changes have been made. When I click the check mark, it saves. So very easily, I've shown you how to create buttons in a couple seconds. The buttons are very easy to create, very easy to edit, and they're fully optimized for mobile. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.